Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire. Last week, Lex posted a video of ranking every Mega Gobblegum on a tier list. So since he had five of them in the trash tier, I figured I would use those five Gobblegums and try to find a way in which each were actually useful. Now, running all five of these at once was definitely not great for a few reasons, but it may rely on my skill or I guess lack of skill. Uh, so I'm gonna go through each gum in his ranking and break down the most effective way to use each one. Also keep in mind that for some of these, I had never used them or used them like one time in the past eight years. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's jump into it. What we're trying to do is use the worst gobble gums and try to be successful with them. It's going to be hard because they're really bad. So a lot of the bad ones are focused around like a window. So we're basically going to be tr trying to do the one window strategy on the giant. I don't think I've used this strategy since the Black Ops 3 is out. So this could be completely patched and waste. I'm wasting my time. Um, but we'll see if it works still, I guess. All right, so I'm pretty sure if you open up this way and activate the power, and then you go back and go across the bridge, at the start of the next round, all the zombies will come out of like one window. I feel like this is definitely patched. We'll see though. All right, so the first gobble gum out of the five bad ones is going to be bored to death. This is flavor unlike anything in Russia. So when you repair a board, it will kill all nearby zombies. The funny thing is I haven't used like a lot of these, so it's going to be interesting to see. We'll see if this actually works and they all come to this window. I mean, it's killing nearby zombies. We'll wait till there's like, okay, we got like three. Like, I'm curious to see how good this is on like a later round, you know? Because the board literally hits the zombies. <laughs> like, you could literally go through an entire round just repairing bo windows, right? So think about this on like round 20 where you're just constantly pressing square. Like, it might actually be good. So, I mean, we did all of round four. This does work, by the way. The zombies didn't spawn anywhere else, which is good. This is OP already. But you can really harness the the value of this gobblegum with this. See, I don't know if it stops working. I haven't gone on a high round yet. All right, guys, so round 26 isn't really that high of a round, but I figured this would suffice as far as gameplay goes for this specific gobblegum. Now, as you can see, I'm still repairing barriers and it's working really effectively. It's killing all the zombies that come to the barrier. As long as I can rebuild it fast enough, it does its job. And there are two specific things you have to worry about though. The first one is dogs. They're always gonna spawn inside of this room, whether it's to the left of you or behind you. So you always have to listen for that wisp noise when they spawn. And also you wanna make sure that your controller is actually registering because even holding square like I was on PlayStation, it was still taking a while sometimes for uh, it to register and it wouldn't rebuild right away. So I'd recommend having like wall power like I did. I got the can 44 uh, just so I would have like a pack of bunch guns to take care of zombies if they actually broke in. But overall, it seems that this gobblegum is pretty good and in my opinion, really underrated. And I think Lex rated it a little bit too low. It's really, really good, surprisingly. Unbearable. So if you guys don't know what unbearable is, basically you can't get the bear from the mystery box. Or you can, but it will re-roll it. Well, that sucks. That's pretty cool. So, it is, I guess, one use and then it's gone. So, What if you get, like, how much does it reset it? You know, like, that's what I'm curious about. Like, am I gonna get a teddy bear in two hits and then it's like not worth it? I guess we'll find out. 
This almost makes it too easy. Okay, so unbearable effectively resets the box completely to give you a lot of hits. So I would say it's actually pretty useful if you don't want the box to move. So we'll give that one a pass for now. Um, how good is it? I'd give it like a six out of 10. It's definitely not good, but it's not terrible either. This. So this gobble gum is definitely the worst board games. It lasts for five rounds. And when you board up a window, it boards up the entire thing and you only get 10 points. So it's literal garbage. Now it could be useful for this strat specifically, but like you don't get extra points for it. So it really sucks. Like, it, it actually could be useful for this, though. No cap. Like, <laughs> it's actually pretty good for this. Repeat it. Could you just sit here? And just keep repairing the window over and over? I mean, despite getting hit. Technically, if you rubber banded your controller, you could use this gobble gum to hold a zombie. And if you had, like, if you could run a strip where you just back up like this but this wouldn't be useful in this game because in black ops 4 the zombies would die out right but in this game they don't die out so it's not really useful in black ops 3 at all all right we're gonna see how good this gobble gum is will we be mind blown by its power or this is gonna suck. Mind blown. Like you'd think you'd be able to kill an entire horde with this, right? Alright, let's test it out. Lex said this is one of the top five worst gobble gums. I wouldn't say that's I mean, it only has three uses, but you can basically kill an entire horde with it. And it looks pretty good too, honestly, but the only downside is you don't get any points for actually killing the zombies, which, I, I mean, I guess it's a fair trade-off, to be honest. Mm, I feel, uh, imbued with, uh, something. The range is actually pretty big. But it's only the ones that you're looking at, though, right? I'm pretty sure. It's like I was looking out of the map, but there was zombies here that I wasn't looking at. So you can get out of getting stuck, which I think is decent. Licensed contractor is useful for one reason and on one map. And the only map is moon. When you have the hacking hacker device and you need a max ammo, you can run licensed contractor because it has three charges and you can hack it for 5,000 points and you get a max ammo. And if you happen to get a max ammo or if you want a fire sale, you can hack the uh, max ammo for a fire sale. So pretty cool. But that's basically using each gobble gum uh, and its ability in the best way possible. I think licensed contractor is good on this map. Board to dust good if you're camping in tunnel 11 and you're doing this. You can use board to death right here at this window and use the wave gun. And, you know, do that pretty effectively, I would say. All right, guys, so this has been using the top five worst trash gobble gums that are megas in Black Ops 3 Zombies. I thought this was a pretty cool video idea, kind of testing some of the more less known gobble gums, I guess, and seeing how effective they can be. I think that we learned one thing, and that's bored to death is actually pretty good. Uh, other than that, the other ones aren't really that great. Mind blown can be useful for killing an entire horde, but that's pretty much it. Licensed contractor still sucks. Uh, board games still sucks 
and uh that's about it so anyways guys thanks for watching and unbearable is like decent i guess but not really that useful either peace out